Hey friends, it's Jilly. Hey listen, I wanted to reach out to you because I've been getting a lot of questions and emails about my book, The Fellowship of Suffering. This was released in December of last year and in case anyone is interested, shameless plug, in purchasing this, I'll put the link below so that you can find your way to Amazon, or you could just go to Amazon and type in the Fellowship of Suffering. I'm so excited because we are now developing a directed devotional to kind of complement the book and, and help walk through that journey. Uh, some of the questions that I've been getting, though, have to do with suffering. What do I think suffering is? And certainly, how in the world can anybody fellowship? And suffering and so I wanted to talk a little bit more about that and let you know that I've actually adopted the definition of suffering from Elizabeth Elliot uh, because it was so simplified what she had to say and she's described or defined suffering as either having something that you don't want or wanting something that you don't have. And I have found that for each and every one of us, there is not anything that touches our lives as from a suffering perspective, from a sorrow and grief perspective that we can't put in either one of those two categories. As an example, for having something that I don't want that would equate to something such as, I don't want cancer. I don't want this injury or illness. I don't want this bankruptcy and financial ruin and something that we might not have but want could kind of fall into, I want my husband back. I want my marriage back. I want my life back. I want my loved one. They died and they're not here and they were the only ones who really loved me. So you see, we can kind of categorize those things. But then once we do, what do we do with that? In a world that is full of suffering, pain and sorrow, I see it every day. I experience it every day. Because I assure you that there is something in one of those categories that I'm going to struggle with each day. And I know each of you do. I see you on Facebook and see what you're navigating through. And I stay a lot of times disheartened at all of the pain and suffering, sorrow and injury in the world, the hate and the division. And for someone who does not know the Lord, it would be very easy to lose hope and faith. I posted on Facebook just a few days ago that we might not ever know what God's plan is or why things happen, but we can certainly trust His heart. And I can say that confidently because I have placed my trust in Him and He has never failed, not one time. In my journey, I was able to go back and view my pain and sorrow and suffering in a perspective that unveiled His presence in that suffering. And that's my heart, to point you to where He was and is in your suffering. Because there's not one thing that ever touched your body or that you endured that the Lord Jesus was not there. There's not anything that we've been through, that we're going through, or might happen in the future that is not sifted from the hand of the Lord Jesus who loves us so faithfully. It's His heart to touch those places within us and to show Him in our sorrows and to help us recover to redeem those things that have been yanked out of our hands, to bring comfort to something that nothing else could comfort in this world. And so 
I would love to journey with you in your suffering. I would love for you to have the book and to walk through and get the perspective from Christ so that you too can learn that there is fellowship and suffering. I know I've lived it and so many before me have lived it. I look forward to um, speaking to anybody that wants to private message me about it. And I just want to thank you for those of you who have bought the book and have taken a deep dive and have started your own journey and allowed me to walk alongside you. I really appreciate that. And until next time, you guys take care. It's Wednesday. We're almost through the week. We're almost through the end of August. We're good to go. Keep your chin up and know that you're not alone.